Well, the 66th annual Cannes Film Festival came to a close Sunday, and the big winner was a film about the romance of a young lesbian couple. The two actresses joined the French director on stage to accept the award. The film titled Blue is the Warmest Color won the Palme d'Or Prize by unanimous vote. Instead, the top prize at the Cannes Film Festival went to a French lesbian romance called Blue is the Warmest Colour. We've worked so hard on this film. We gave it all so much. It is a bit odd to say that, but it's true, so it's obviously a great reward. <laughs> At the end of a festival where the films have often been overshadowed by the thieves with two separate jewellery raids, it's now the movies, their stars and a love story with a difference taking the spotlight. And another French actress was rewarded. Berenice Bejo, star of The Artist, was voted Best Actress for a Franco-Iranian film, The Past, by a jury chaired by Hollywood's biggest director, Steven Spielberg. What'd you say you played? Folk songs. This was also a year for American excellence, proved by Joel and Ethan Cohen's new film, Inside Lewin Davis, taking the Grand Prix a runner-up prize. Play me something from Inside Lewin Davis. Starring Justin Timberlake and Carey Mulligan, it's likely to make a star out of Oscar Isaac, who plays the lead role of a 1960s folk singer chasing an elusive dream of success. I'm a firm believer in karma, and I think this situation is a huge learning lesson for me. And then there were films about Hollywood. Sofia Coppola's The Bling Ring documents society's cult of youth and beauty. Emma Watson leaves Hermione well and truly behind as she transforms into a teenage thief, literally prepared to steal the clothes off a celebrity's back. She saw something that made her think I would be able to, to transform, so I just, that was a huge compliment that she paid me and I really wanted to pay her back and, and do it really well. Another British star reinvented herself in the most controversial film in competition, Only God Forgives. Kristen Scott Thomas plays a criminal matriarch as Lady Macbeth with the hair of Donatella Versace in a violent art house film co-starring Ryan Gosling. The only thing critics weren't divided on was the strength of her performance. I well. love doing all the blood and gore. I hate watching it on screen, but doing it on, you know, with all the little pumps and the mechanics of the whole mm. thing is really quite exciting. After the Oscars, the Cannes red carpet is the most glamorous and glittering in the world. Yet this year, thanks to events beyond the organisers' control, some of the sparkle was removed from proceedings. French star Berenice Bejo, known for silent film The Artist, clinched Best Actress for her role in Le Passé, or The Past. <laughs> After the artist, this role could not have been more perfect for me, she says. Let's just say it allowed me to go from a very relaxed and positive character to someone much more complicated, much harder, someone looking for love. I think for an actor, there's nothing better. The Japanese entry, like father, like son, won the jury prize. Hirokazu Koreeda directed the film. I deeply appreciate my parents, even though they are already gone. I also thank my wife and daughter for making me a father. Thank you. The film depicts a couple who learned the child they raised for six years is not their biological son. The boy was switched at birth with another child in the hospital. The film received a 10-minute standing ovation when it was screened on May 18th. Perhaps the jury was trying to make a point when it chose a gay love story to win the Palme d'Or. As they walked the red carpet in Cannes, the streets of Paris were filled with tear gas as people against France's new gay marriage law fought with police. <laughs> 